There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John and Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite. But peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful ball spawn have arisen, leading their armies across the sword coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. Like wildfire, panic spreads before the armies of the Five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Sultan Esselar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy and how long before its culmination devours your soul. Only one thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, Chaos shall reign. Well, that's a lovely fucking image, isn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no guy twin and welcome to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Half Edition Throne of Ball campaign. Now, unlike uh, Neverwinter Nights 1 and 2, and essentially any other RPG I can name off the top of my head. Shadows of Om thrusts you right into the expansion throne of Ball as soon as you beat Irenicus. Hooray! While it makes sense as a narrative standpoint, if you start in Shadows of Om, you can create a new character right from Throne of Ball to begin with. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to keep it all in one continuous uh, series, so I'm just gonna split it into two because I can. And that and I might as well keep up with the tradition. Anyway. Luckily for us, my save file is still here, so continue. Why don't we kill, uh, Damn it, Little Core, we haven't even started yet. And you're still bloodthirsty. So yeah. All of our stuff's still here, I hope. Assuming nothing got lost in the uh, transfer process, we should be good to go. Our party is still together, because it makes a lot of sense. I don't know how this would work as you create a brand new character. What I do know is you get uh, 2.5 million experience points to spend on your character. To at least get you prepared for this crap. Whether or not it gives you items in a party selection is uh, up in the air to me. But hey, my wisdom is back to 12. Or was it always 12? Pretty sure I lost a point of dexterity somewhere along the line as well. Maybe I'm going crazy. Either or. And holy shit, there's actually music playing in the inventory screen? What the hell is this shit? Oh well, enough fucking around looks like siblings are causing mayhem and panic all over the Sword Coast, which is never a good sign, so it's time for the world's worst family reunion by slaughtering them all! Great. So, we're here in the sacred grove beside Sol Desilar. And this is not creepy at all! Ah, well, let's get started. Oh, great, we're doing four spirits right off the bat. What kind of test are you gonna have me jump through? That which has passed is ne'er truly gone. History repeats, though mortals choose not to see. War and bloodshed be not new to the realms. A god that once hath been, may be once again. Armies march and cities burn, the rivers froth with tainted blood. The corpses of those born not innocent feed the inferno of boiling hate. All servant deceived, five led down a false path. A hidden traitor lurks in thy midst. 
The Serpent of Ball knows death and destruction. The face of an ally. The mask of a foe. Great! Just great! Ball's ascending! Woohoo! Fucking idiots. The children of Ball bring death to the land. They slaughter each other and feed their father. Death and betrayal walk together. A river of tainted blood doth not cleanse. The storm approaches. We speak no more. So... You must prepare for battle! Well, someone approaches just before the spirits fizz likely with hostile intent, you should prepare. Well, I think we're already prepared. First things first, why the fuck is Viconia in the back? Yep, that's dead. I should probably quick save, just to make sure, because I don't know if this fight will actually be challenging or a bore. Although I think at this point any fight is going to be a bore. So, I have found you at last. It was an effort to track you down in these woods. Too many old wards for my liking. But here you are. I recognize that voice. Do you recognize that voice? I do! Oh, hello, Jennifer Hale. Nice to know you're a voice acting back in this day and age. And just who are you? All that you need to know is that I have been given the pleasure of ending your life. I may yet mount your head on the wall with all the other ball spawn I've killed. I haven't decided. Oh, well, you can try if you like. I am no ordinary ball spawn. I know, neither am I. Not all of us have been wandering Faroon like witless cattle, like you and pathetic Amoem and so many others of Ball's blood. Some of us have far greater aspirations. Great, I'm dealing with five maniacs with delusions of grandeur and deityism. Deism. <sighs> Looks like I only got to put them to the sword. It's just a regular family reunion. The time of Alondo's prophecy has come. These rhyming ghosts here should have told you that much. Great things are afoot. And your contribution will be your death. It has already been decided. I am Illa the Quick, child of Ball. And I have been chosen to perform this deed. You cannot resist us. Uh, so have others have said. They're dead now. We shall see. Pause! We got a ranger. Uh, monk, I think. Black Reaver. Nice name. Black Reaver. Oh, members of the bandit group. Personary company, whatever. And we got Illusera, Il whatever. Okay, so first things first, take care of the mage. Ah, someone in the back. Ah, he, that man's a Kinsu. And Minsk has killed him. This punk. I'm sorry, Black Reaver, are you trying to cast spells? And you die. Well, so much for your bluster. Ooh! You haven't managed to see with Elven Chain right off the bat. We're starting. Game. I only have two, uh, no more space. Uh oh. I greet you, Godchild. You who are of divine blood, I have awaited you. Just who the hell are you? I have existed since the first strand of fate was woven, a servant of the past and the gods. I have watched your own path most carefully. Our own servant, who was the mortal Alondo, spake the truth and became prophecy. 
It tells of your coming and of all the others who are the progeny of both. Ah, so you're one of the people who spoke in Alondo's ear at night. Fantastic! The spark of the divine rests within all of Ross's children, and the time for their joy is now. which determines the outcome of the prophecy. Although even I cannot see it yet. When the time comes, you will be ready. I will make certain. Why don't I trust you as far as I can throw you, you stupid solar bitch? Because then that, uh... A, uh... Forest spirit tell me that a traitor is in my mist that wears the face of an ally but is a foe? Hmm, I wonder who that is! I don't trust you. First chance I get, I'm gonna slaughter you. And what if I don't want your help? You would wish to stumble about unknowing and blind? Even if this is so, you have no choice in the matter. Oh, I very much doubt that. Power comes with knowledge, Godchild. It shall come to you in time, as your destiny unfolds. You know, I bet all the other god children of various other gods that may have may or may not have fucked during the time of troubles don't have to deal with this bullshit. I shall see you soon. Until then, hold your heart close and know that you are not alone. So, you have finally arrived. I have been waiting. Oh, not again. Sorry, Vogue, what are you doing here? Get away from us! Eh? He is like Bad Penny, this one! And I'm a deep-voiced Penny of most sinister evil! Silence! I would have bash my words for him only. Saravok, didn't I kill you for the last time in hell? You did indeed. Although that was no fault of mine, it was you that summoned me then, even if the words were my own, I've done nothing but attempt to reform myself since. As you will recall, it is your will that shapes our father's realm, whether you are aware of what you do or not. I myself am nothing now but a shadow you see before you. So, are you saying I'm in hell once again? You do not even know where you are, do you? You did not come here on purpose. Ha <laughs> ha, what better irony this is! You stumble about and are blind to your true power, continue to survive while I, Servak, am reduced to this. Bah! Well, Ash, I shall tell you where you are. You are within our father's abyssal realm, brother. That plane once ruled by Baal and now shaped by the taint present in your soul, but no longer present in mine, you have been here before. This is a cocoon of sorts, a miniature version of our father's larger realm, sort of a plane within a plane. I assume your mind formed it to protect you from the power of this place. Rather ingenious, dear brother. I wouldn't have thought you had in you. Regardless, I spotted forming guests at its purpose, so I came here and waited, when they eventually would come, and that we could discuss my deal. Uh, really, what kind of deal? What could you want? What do you think I would want, dear brother? I wish to exist. I wish to be alive again. You could do that. The smallest fraction of your soul, my brother, given freely with the taint of our dead father within it. That would recreate my flesh, restore my mortality, Servak would live again. I be getting in return for this generosity of mine? There is knowledge of how to leave this play ain of yours, Vash. That is the one thing I can give you, although I did not know that when I came here. No, what I offer you is knowledge that is much more relevant. Something that dates back to my mortal days when I was getting power within the Iron Throne. Something you will find most intriguing. 
I know where your destiny lies, Vash. I know where you must go to find it. Search about on your own, and it will soon be too late. The time of the old prophecies is upon us, or upon you, at least. What say you? Just how did you come by this supposed knowledge of yours? I gathered much of the old lore when I was alive, my brother. As you will recall, it was my goal to assume the mantle of our father. I'm dead, perhaps, but the lore still holds true for you. Okay, Sheriff, I can what just do you intend to do with your new life of yours? I do not know. Why crossing you, dear brother, certainly that. My ambition was everything once, now that the tape is gone, I am unsure. But I wish to leave. Live. And leave. So what say you? I'm guessing there's no other way of restoring you to your former form? Perhaps there is. Any divine spark will do, no matter how much of false children it comes from. I doubt our other dear little sibling here has half the courage required, however. He's talking about me, isn't he? Part of my soul bringing back to life, too. Figure that all on your own, did you? Well, the thought of harboring a spark in your sugary sweet soul for a turn is not filled with joy. Yes, it would provide just as well. That's as sweet as you think, Sarah Mark. If you don't deserve a second chance in life, you killed Garion. I killed far more than he did, and went in the course of my ambition. Ask yourself how many you have killed, or bash. Are you so innocent? It's Garion. I ask for no forgiveness. How would you get? I I don't know, Vash. She doesn't deserve life, but if it's important, I'll give a part of my soul. You save mine from Bodhi. She shouldn't have to sacrifice again. Ah, uh, forget about it, everyone. I won't allow you to go a part of your soul for me. Well, there is no other way, Vash, unless you have another ball spawn that I am unaware of. Is your spark or nothing? Choose. So be it, I agree, Sarabok. This will be a double bargain. So I have cheated death! Thank you, dear brother. No gift could please me more. I live! Flesh and blood and bone! I am alive! <laughs> I swore I would scratch and crawl my way back into the world of the living, and I have done it! An admirable effort, if wasted. Without immortality, it would only be a quick trip to return from the grave. Even quicker if that's the word, perhaps. Though my sword and armor have not appeared, no matter. But the ball essence to channel their powers, they're of little use. I shall make do without them as I once did. Thank you, Vesh, I am pleased. Well, that's odd, I don't feel any different. Did I not say it was only an insignificant portion? I suspected that doing it here, in this place, it might work, but I was not sure. It's good to see I was correct after all. You weren't sure that it would work? I knew it, you were bluffing the whole time! I did not get to where I did in life, but risk fool. It was no bluff. I knew enough to suspect that it might work, since our heritage was the same. But none of that is important. I imagine you are eager to hear what I have to say. The first thing I shall tell you is how to leave this pocket plane that you have created. It is an extension of your will, Bash. It exists because you need it to exist. It is this plane which creates the portal out, but it will not take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be. Or perhaps where you believe you need to be. But I cannot give you the ability to make this plane create its portal. There are many barred passages in this plane of yours that I know little of. One, however, I can open, and beyond it lies what you seek. Watch. Enter that room and face your challenge, Vash. It will be difficult. You may not want to do it alone. There is a spirit here which could summon those companions you require for your party if you require such. Regardless, once you have completed that challenge, you will be able to leave this plane of yours. It does not, however, take you where you wish to go. It takes you where you need to be. And I, as I said, know where that is. 
In my youth, I spent much of my time looking into the old lore of the dead Baal priesthood. I unearthed one of the old prophecies from an uncooperative sect of Sirik, one that spoke extensively of its time now upon us. The Sword Coast will run red with blood, yes. But the battles will culminate in a great struggle within a city to the south, the Tetherian city of Seradush. Kai, who needs their city Seradush? That just sounds pretentious. It is there that you must go, where the first step of the prophecy will unfold. Although, naturally, you must face your challenge first. Aren't you still a child of Ball, though? No, Ball's essence left me once I died. And that which has been given to me now maintains my mortality only. Some might consider me a Ball spawn, but it's only surely a matter of history and memory. So, what will happen after I go to Saradush? Then the future begins. Then we will all see just how much of a role you are to play in this conflict and you should come live up to our sire's heritage. Ah, oh, fine, I've heard enough. Before you go, I have one thing to ask you, Vash. Take me with you. Take you with us so you can trace and stab us in the back? Why do we ever want you with us, Sarabak? I was once sure that the old prophecy centered around me. Even if that is no longer the case, I know more about them than perhaps anyone. I can help you, Vash, with the challenge in that room and more. Of course, I do this for no selfish reason. There is power in my Vash, and I am sure that I am not the first to tell you this. And there is no better opportunity for me elsewhere. Besides, two of you long ago, you have earned my respect. Thank you, Vash. Brother and brother, side by side. Here's the thing, Saravak, I don't have room for you in my party if I wanted to take you with me. And we want your lackeys here and your plane for you to return when you require them. Leave me in this plane until I need it. I intend on seeing what occurs with you, so I will wait. How would I know you wouldn't betray me at the first opportunity? I will take an oath to follow you, my brother, if that will satisfy. Here in this place, such an oath will have power. Like a Gia scroll. I could not betray you. Uh, I might return for your expertise later, Saravok. Perhaps then you can swear an oath. As you wish. I shall wait for your return, Vash. Remember, the challenge may be difficult. Consider summoning companions to your side. Ooh, shiny ones. The hell? Yourself. I am the little butler for the great bow. Oh yes! Or I was. It has been very lonely for me. No more master to serve for a very long time. Until now that is I swear to god, if you say yep, 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 I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Your voice just reminds me of Ducky from Land of Before Time. First one. Not the second and forward because of a different voice actor. Then again, you kind of have to do that when the uh, voice actor was murdered by her father because her father was a complete and total douchebag of a git! <sighs> Death's too much of a mercy for that piece of work. Regardless. You're a butler? What's exactly that you do? Oh, I does clean things. I goes and I collect the little things that find their ways to the abyss. And when my master requests, I uses the recipes to making the shiny ones. Oh, yes. Is this voice actor on helium when he's talking? Or she? Or is this a very, very good set of pipes this person has on their throat? Shiny ones? Yes, oh yes! Call on me, you may! Use my recipes for you will! I, I make the shiny ones! Have not done this for some time, though! No new master have I! Cespinar gladly serve the great one! Cespinar make good butler, yes? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? 
I have many recipes. Uh, sure. Go ahead and show me what you can do. Ooh! Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me see. Huh? Sword that burns? Hmm. Have cream for that. You says flaming son of Angrivedale. He's looking at mercury and maybe oh ten thousand gold pieces. If he gets all that, I has really good recipe. I keep looking. You should maybe clean pack more often. Ooh, what's that? Sharp. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you have both Ixel Spike and Ixel's Nail. They're meant to go together. 5,000 gold pieces of that and I do you once. I knew there was a reason why I, sh I brought both of them with me. <laughs> I figured they would go back together to make a spear. I wasn't sure. It's a good thing I bought back was the Spike or Nail that I accidentally sold. Ah, oh, whatever. Sure, do it. Okay. Stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Oh, you're just bursting with coffins, aren't you, Suspinar? I really want to pick up the stuff that's on the ground, please. Enjoy! Now Suspinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. Okay. I have had to drop Wait, the gift. I, I have only two arms and no more Your space. Let's see, well that's a scimitar plus one, those are arrows plus one, this is a spear plus one, this is a composite longbow plus one, dagger, adventurer's robes, quarter staff, arrows. Drop I have had to drop what you gave I have only two arms and no more and space. No more space. Eric Elise, my faithful bard companion, what is all this crap? These are boots of the cheetah. <laughs> okay, someone can have another. Se someone can actually keep up with me now. Who is it gonna be? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Who is it gonna be? Um. Fuck it. Here you go, Harry. Have double movement speed. This is Ring of Princes, a dagger plus two. What is this suit of Elven chain mail? Sylvan chain plus two. Here you go, Emwin. Well, let's see here. That is minus five, minus five, minus twenty, minus ten. Same thing, but it's just plus two elven chainmail. All right. Yeah. Well, as Sarabok has stated, we are stuck here in our own realm of our making. And apparently we can summon companions to our side. And if we ever want to, we can take Sarabok with us. At best, he would replace, uh, Minsk. But, uh, I really am re I'm really happy with the party I have, so why would I change? Hey, Suspinar. Suspinar gladly serves a great one. Suspinar makes good butler, yeah? Would you like me to make you shiny ones? I have many recipes. Yeah, let's keep, uh, seeing what you can make. Ooh! Huh? Okay, I need Perfect. a little mercury. I don't know where I get that. Keep looking. It's good stuff. Very firm. Very strong. Makes her a good swack in the head. Kapow! Use has runs a noxious horn, maybe? No? If he gets it, Ice has recipe for stuff at the ram. You demanding, you is. Remind me of Ball on running after big drinking binge, maybe. Ball can go on. Ball went on drinking binges? Been a party. <laughs> In those doom. Can you say it? In those doom. Anyways, you find Hindle's hand, I can make Katana better. 
He really has to wonder this. What happens to him though, hey? I'm just a slave. Working. Slave in a way. Ooh, nice boots. Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Ouch. Ooh, wrong head. You've got three heads there. I can add poison heads to it. So four heads, you know. Five medical pieces, I can do it. He wants? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. Sespinar, you are one of my new favorite NPCs. Just because you have a sense of humor. Your voice was a little weird. Enjoy! Now Sespinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect! Okay, we got the foil of ages plus four Great. now. And Ixel Spike plus six! Jesus Christ. This is our first plus six weapon. <laughs> it's a spear. With shaft and tip reunited, Ixel Spike is a fearsome weapon. During the battle, the head can detach to a pin of punch to the ground, even as the new head magically reforms on the end of the spear. Free action. Target, hit target is pinned for 3 rounds and takes an additional 1d6 plus 5 piercing damage each round. Save versus paralysis negates. In Flail of Ages plus 4, this 4 head flail causes fire, cold, acid, and poison damage. If the 5th head for the Flail of Ages can be found, it can make this awesome weapon even more powerful. 1d6 plus 5 damage. Crushing. Plus one fire, cold, acid, poison, it's plus four. Oh boy. You can give hair to least the spear. There are so many good weapons. Well, Suspinar, let's keep working. Suspinar, gladly, sir. Ooh, huh? Can't do that. I, it's good Can't stuff. do that. You demanding, you bitch. <laughs> Ah, the flail. You sure you not just want to dump everything out? Be sure that way. Ha ha, very funny. Ooh, it's very nice quiver it is. Pretty colors. If you find Throgstone, I have this recipe for quiver of plenty. Make better arrows. There's something else here? Hmm, old rations? Do you clean packs sometimes or just pretend? Is there a merchant nearby? What? You use a sling? What is you, a big dentist? Do not mock the power of the rock. A rock can break bones if thrown hard enough. Mm. Well, I have a recipe for Erin's sling. Anyways, imagine that. All you need is 500 gold pieces, and I can go make sling better. It's good sling gets, anyhow. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Stand back, then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. This one has a lot of recipes. In this one. Enjoy. Now Saspinar goes back to his duties. Oh yes! Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. I'm gonna be here for a while, ain't I? Aaron's sling plus five creates five plus four bullets per day. Here you go, Harry. Here's your sling back. Now you have a decent range weapon. Suspinar, gladly serve the great one. Suspinar, uh, makes Suspinar good do you have a list yeah. of your recipes and like this a lot easier? I have many recipes. Sadly, no. All recipes is up here in Suspinar's head. So many, I can never keep all of them straight. This job security. Maybe. Fine, fine. Let's see if I have anything you can use then. Ooh! Huh? All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Uh, ah, the flail. You sure you're not just one? Ooh. Is there something else? Ooh. You like this one, maybe? Like a little snack on a toast, huh? <laughs> ha ha. You got Blade Singer Chainmail ICs! Elva Chain? 
If you get scroll protector for normal weapons, there's lots of gold. I can make even better. Impressive, huh? But you don't do guts rats right now. Okay, so I keep looking. What is it? Del cookie? Oh, that is no cookie. Did you just eat a biscuit? Did you just seriously eat a hard tack biscuit? I didn't even know we carried rations. Yes! I think I've killed five or four. Well, let's see, there was the shadow there's two shadow dragons, there was two red dragons, and a green the green dragon I didn't kill, and the silver dragon I didn't kill, so yeah, I killed four dragons. Oh, it's white dragon scales, is it? I make good scale armor. Take it from gold, maybe? 500 gold pieces of only you want? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy. You know, when I heard a Suspinar while looking up the item list for Bullet Kid 2, I assumed he would be a mage, not him. Enjoy! Now Suspinar goes back to his duties. Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find. Lots to collect. Although him being an imp makes this a lot better and more hilarious. White dragon scale. Not surprising. Lee, this armor created from the scales of a young ice dragon provides the wear of protection from cold and ice. Plus 50% cold resistance charge blues. Cone to cold three times per day. Ooh. And it's still better than what Imwin's using. And that's because it's um it's minus two versus three. Holy jumping Jehoshaphat! That is a gigantically forward. And Imwin is not wearing. does not have any armor spells up and running. Holy shit. I knew I should have kept a rogue stone. Ah, eh, well, I could probably find one easily. Enough. Ooh. So. Herod at least can use this. But his wizard spells have been disabled. Lyconia can use this. It's the same armor class as the uh, armor of the heart. Mince can use this. Is slightly better than the red dragon scale. Oh. Firecrag. <laughs> you must be rolling in your grave right now. A suit of white dragon scale armor is better than the scales made from your hide. Ouch. That just hurts. On the plus side, Minsk is now immune to cold damage. Instead of having 90% versus fire, he now has 40% versus fire, but he's immune to electricity and cold damage. Good on ya. And of course, we can get the red dragon skill. If only spells weren't disabled, I'd give it to freaking. I'd give it to Hair Delise. But since I have Blade Singer's scale, if I had some more money and a scroll of protection versus normal weapons, I could make it better. Why do I have Bodhi's Black Heart still? Why do I have it? Okay, Suspinai, let's keep looking through my packs. I have a bunch of items that I collected throughout the fucking Watcher's Keep that I have no idea if they do anything. Good recipe to make cook a protection plus two better. You need scrolls have invisibility and improved haste, both though. So maybe later. Ice looking to 
some stuff that ain't mine. Dum -dee -dum 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 -dum. You're my new favorite imp. Then again, I didn't have a favorite imp before, so congratulations, Suspinar. You're the first on the list. What got we here? A book? It's good bedtime readings, maybe. Oh, it's Tomo Golems. Yeah. Boring. You have clay golem page, which makes tone better. Oh, yes. Just use 500, 5,000 gold pieces, and then you make all the clay golems you want, in fact. Go ahead. Okay. Stand back, then. Never use this recipe before. It would be messy. Could be messy. Well, now the little golem book is a lot better. I get someone cook. Enjoy! Now Saspinar goes back to his duties! Oh, yes! Lots of goodies to find! Lots to collect! Now I can summon clay golems once per day. The Restore page explains how to use the manual to temper conjure a servant of mold of clay, which will obey the creator without question. The user needs a minimum intelligence of 16 to understand the contents. Here you go, and now we can summon a golem. Blah, 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 blah. I got a lot of stuff. You know, Sespinar is really bad for my uh, hoarding habits because now I don't want to sell anything because I may have some use out of it. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is just gonna make my inventory management a hell of a lot harder now. Great! Thanks, game! As if I wasn't bad enough at hoarding before. What got we here? A book? It's good bedtime readings, maybe. There is pages oh. that can cats make book better. Like book much yeah. better golems. Oh. <laughs> recipes for recipes. It's funny, yes? Well you have no proper pages for current tomes, so forgets about it. Oh we can make oh we can eat That's interesting. The book can have better golems. I'm going to be on the lookout for those. I just put book back. Probably too many big words for use anyway. Not enough neat pictures. Hmm. It seems you have lots of junk in here. Needs junk I got a bag of holding. It's the best I got. I keep looking, but I'm running out of recipes soon. I need to find Martha soon. She wrote hell somewhere, I think. Is that a Martha Stewart reference? Or, not Martha Stewart. Betty Crocker, that's who I'm thinking of. Why do I think Martha Stewart? Because of the name? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait! Here's a bomb. Only one? Where is you, a rock star? Oh, there's that one. Uh, Sespinor, are you able to see beyond the fourth wall or something because I don't think the Forgotten Realms even knows what a rock star is or what rock and roll even is I don't even think they know what jazz music is these are bar gloves I had this recipe which makes them very good for bars but you need lots of gems one diamond sapphire emerald and rogue stone effect you not got all that great you must have something in here worth me looking. Maybe nice female imp? Nah. I'm pretty sure I can conjure one if you want. I'm good. Huh? You have something here? Smells like dirt? Needs good washing, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. I have a recipe for this, actually. Ranger named Montilia once have cloaking class. Finds both and eyes put to go for you, okay? Good, good recipe. Don't be so pushy. I looked when I was good and ready. Okay, I was ready. Yeah, nice helmet. Hey, wait, I know this one. You just got all pieces for the helm of the rock. It's a good recipe for fire. Five thousand gold pieces. Helmet, two horns. Yep, I'll just here at once. You was the reason I kept those horns around. Okay, stand back then. Never used this recipe before. Could be messy! Of course, now I have to go through this whole process all over again because I still have so much stuff! Oh my god! Enjoy! Now Saspinar goes back to his duties! Oh, 
yeah. With the addition of the horns, the like helm of the rock is even more powerful. Like Generals and military leaders can command both fear and respect simply by wearing this helmet. Let's see, uh, cold, fire, acid, electricity, and poison resistance by 25%. Aura of command three times per day, save versus spell at minus two negates. Special target flees in terror for five rounds, range is 40 feet, and only one person. Oh my god, the helm looks ridiculous. The helms are in the wrong fucking direction! <laughs> They're supposed to be pointing up, not down! <laughs> wow. Okay, Seth Spinar, it's time to go through my pack once again. <laughs> Do, 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 do. I keep looking. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you must have something in here with me. Huh? You have something here? No, don't be so pussy. I looked when I was good and ready. Okay, I'm hmm. ready. You know, you have some quiver of bolts here, right? I can upgrade, so it makes plus two bolts. Crossbows be sucky. I'm not quite so sucky with better bolts. Five thousand gold and it'd be yours. I'm just changing his voice so already, aren't I? Okay. Case of playing plus one. Now we got Bernard, case of plenty of plus two. Oh, yes. Lots of goodies the money and resources you invest Lots in the case of plenty have resulted in even greater magical properties. Unlimited plus two crossbow bolts. Here you go, Hair Delise. I have been at this saying? for over 15 Ooh. minutes now. Man, I hoard a lot of stuff. I keep looking. Hmm. Hmm. You must have something in here. Huh? Don't be so... Hmm. Nope. Nope. I see nothing more than matches with my recipes. No more shiny ones. Oh, well. Back to cleaning, I guess. It's... Thank God. Oh my god, that took a lot longer than it should have, and I have a hoarding problem, apparently. Let's rest. Wow, that is a fucking... Okay, that is a bit weirder than I expected. What the hell? I can interact with this? Greetings to you, child of ball. I'm an aspect of your fate, the thread that leads you unerringly along your destiny. In a way, I'm a part of you. An aspect of my fate. So what, you can tell me the future? I only follow the strands of fate that you weave with others, child. You tug at the entire pattern of the tapestry. So this is the strength of your own destiny. You also end the threads of many. Threads that touch you and get woven around you are cut short, dead. Their future ended. Such is also your fate. So can you help me or not? I cannot touch your own thread, child, nor can I tell where it leads. I can, however, alter the threads of those whose lives are intertwined closely with your own, those whose destinies are tied to yours. Meaning what, exactly? There are those who are tied to your fate and your future, whether they know it or not. If there are threads are within my reach, I can bring them to this place. You can bring people here? If they are meant to be a part of your future, yes. They will fall into your wake because their fates are tied to yours. Is there a third wish for me to search for a child ball? I'll bring them to this place if I can. You can bring any companion with you in this campaign. Every single one. No matter what their fates were in Shadows of Ball, which I find fucking hilarious. Because I'm pretty sure Yoshimo is dead. Well, if you wanted to bring Yoshimo back, considering we released his spirit from, uh, his torment. You should be thankful. Never mind, I can't think of anyone else right at the moment. As you wish, continue on your own course, child of ball. Well, if I ever feel like bringing a companion back with me, I just need to talk to you. good, sir. Come on, what about now? Give me some direction. No. Come on, come on, I'm getting itchy, let's go! Fine, little core, fine! I have ten minutes remaining, I'll see what this goddamn threat is. Whether or not I need to serve, or not. 
I mean, if I wanted to change my party, I could. I have access to all the companions. Health? Prepare to be eviscerated, fool. Gavin! You... You're... You're one of us. You're one of the ball spawn, aren't you? Oh, but you... You need to worry about me. I'm dead. I'm a nobody. I grew up in a small farming village. I didn't even know what I was until they came for me. But I knew I was different. You can hear the screams at night, can't you? You can feel the blood of the murdered. How it throw flows all around you. A thousand different pains and you're nothing but a solitary echo. Well, it's not terrible. It's inviting. It calls to you. You should give in to it. If you offer your entire heart up to it, everything becomes crystal clear. One murder, two, a thousand, it all becomes part of you. I murdered three of the local girls until I was driven out. Then I went to the city. Murder was easier there, and I felt a call every night. You could taste life, you know. It is divine. But you resisted, don't you? Why would you do that? I can feel you murdered many, yet resist all the good that we alone, the ball spot, can appreciate. After all, the only thing you need to fear is retribution. Um. Okay. Uh, retribution, retribution is a bunch of doppelgangers. What the hell? You're attacking me with doppelgangers and kobolds. Really, game? You're doing this to me? You guys you aren't even worth the trouble of fighting for me! Over mages. Hello, Knowles and Swagan. I'm waiting. Oh, another, another Ogre Mage. He's dead. You're all falling to our blades real easily. Oh, now we have some drow. You're all gonna die real fast. What can I? I'll do it. This spell is ready to fly. Drow rules supreme. The drow rules supreme. Why would I fear retribution from bitches? They can't even hurt me that much. This is a one. Oh, hello, Irenicus. You're probably not the real one, you're an illusion. And you're going to die real easily. still. Yeah! Hit it again! Can't really hit it again when it disappeared. Anything else you want to throw at me, game? So, you survived retribution? I didn't. But then, you know how to kill a lot better than I did. The strange thing is, the longer you survive, the more blood you have on your hands. And there's never an end to the retribution. Where is there? Special ability gained. Pocket planed. What the hell is going on? Give me some direction. What the hell's this? This ability returns Vash's entire party to the pocket plane. And I still got to change it to the ability to change it to the Slayer. Still got critical strike and power attack. Okay. I'm waiting. Well. I assume we completed the test. And that's the way we leave. <laughs> okay, sure, whatever game. Oh god, 
on my back and my neck. Oh, that feels good to crack. Oh man, dilemma. Do I keep my current party or do I mix it up for some variety? The problem with that is, I don't know if the other ca other companions are leveled up to my strength or the party's overall strength. What equipment they have, what special abilities, if any they have, or do I do it all myself? So that's a problem. I'm gonna have to test that. But I'm gonna save that for later because I'm gonna call it a video for now. I'm about five minutes under time, but who really cares, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been no guy trying to this but let's play Boys Gate 2 and hence the just throwing a ball. And next time, we're gonna get out of this pocket plane, back to the prime material plane, head to Sardouche, and go kill some more siblings of ours. Hooray! But until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, I'll see y'all next time.